Greetings again. So we are now going to cut out the arms. Uh, then I'm gonna go set up the sewing machine, which I've used again. I think I've said like once. Let's see if I can still remember because it's been a bit. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there. Oh, sewing scissors is over here. All right, because I did, I did get. The two arms um, drawn in, the arm patterns drawn in. It doesn't really matter which arm is which at the moment because they're literally interchangeable. But I might have to. Yep, we'll just get this stuff cut. I don't think I don't. That probably doesn't show up. The. I mean, it is a dark blue, but um, I don't know if it really shows up. I don't know if this mark shows up, but if this is a success, as in not necessarily the video is success, but if it is a success um, in regards to actually making this costume, uh, when I get the, uh, I did order, um, apparently it's called Taylor, Taylor's Chalk, or Taylor Chalk. So when that comes in, Sunday-ish, but I have a Tyco event on Sunday, so we'll see if I actually get it on Sunday. Now that I got all day Monday, Monday's a day off for me, due to work, work stuffs. Um, so I'll have, I'm not even sure when the, when the Tyco event, oh no, no, I do, I do have a time, I do have a time. Um, I think we do it at like... 11 o'clock, I think. Something like that. Trash! Alright, how do we, how do we want to do this? We're gonna go, we're gonna go up this side, because I decided. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if that bend is, um, And then what we'll do, um, no, because I already got that pinned. Wow, I'm freaking going crazy with the scissors here. I probably shouldn't be using it to point and closing it at the same time. If it's closed, you can probably point relatively safely. Open, not so much. Double, a double, a double so. If um, you're also waving it around and opening it and closing it, because... Instead of just maybe stabbing yourself, you're going to stab and then cut yourself. Which is way, probably way worse, I imagine. But either way, not not a good habit to have or a good thing to do in general. Uh, now i got to actually think, as I'm cutting this, I'm actually contemplating where I want the sewing machine for the light. I mean, I could turn on the little hallway light there. Give me a little bit more light. I want to make sure I don't cut that all the way through. Cause I... There we go. Because that is for the other arm. Um, now, if you are clutching and you happen to hear a washing machine running, that's because I'm doing laundry. I need towels. I am on my last towel at the moment and it's getting due for a change pretty soon so if I don't do towels and what we got here in Japan is we have really really tiny washing machines so I literally granted if I do sheets sheets uh, because of my drying again open and pointing with it my drying rack Sheets typically dry within a day, which is nice. That might change as winter comes and it's colder in my apartment, but the drying rack is upstairs and I have vast, vastly more success keeping upstairs warm as opposed to downstairs. Downstairs is kind of a crapshoot if I can actually keep it warm or not. But, that being said, because the washing machine is so small. There we go. 
One arm done. Nice. Because the washing machine is so small, and I somehow, I'm not sure how, because uh, I thought I was keeping up on my laundry, I got a little bit behind on the laundry. And when I say a little bit behind on laundry, I mean really freaking far behind on the laundry. Um, I had so much laundry, it was as though I didn't do laundry for a freaking week, and I know that was not the case. So, I don't feel like I got behind on the laundry, but I have literally been... So, the other, other, other than sheets, it takes about, you know, two days. If I wash it, today's Wednesday, so I'm washing towels Wednesday night. Uh, they will be, they'll probably be dry tomorrow night, but definitely by Friday they will be 100% dry. So, basically, I can do laundry every two days. Now, what happened, usually, uh, with my general natural accrual of laundry how much it piles up is during the week I'll probably do two to three loads and then usually I'm pretty good there but this week it's like it's literally like every freaking I know it's not every day but it's literally every other freaking day I mean some weeks I have to do three some weeks I can do two and I might be able to get away with two loads um, in a row for two weeks but I have really been needing to get just a mass amount of laundry done and like, I don't wear that many freaking clothes I mean my my pajamas you know I'm relatively clean in them so it's not like those are a one night thing because they're not but I mean, especially sweatshirts. I don't, I don't sleep in the sweatshirts, so you know they're literally just on when I get home from work. Wear them a few hours and I take it off. So those don't need to be washed, but they are big and bulky. So they do add up a little bit quicker. Pardon me. done cutting this and I'm not really actually going to I am not going to fit actually hold on I'm gonna have to I'll have to do this with pins which is fine I will do uh, do I want to do it with pins I freaking stab the crap out of me if I do it with pins but I do want to throw this on just to give a better idea of how um, how big do these arms are? Because they actually, I think lengthwise they're freaking spot on for what I want it to be. I'm just not certain about the width of them. Boom! And this is, we'll throw that over there because that's actually got quite a bit of stuff left. All right. So here we go. This is arm, um, and we are going to, you know, we'll do we'll do it we'll do it this way. We'll freaking do it this way. Do I got another little clamper? Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, that's something that broke off. Okay, that's fine. Um, no, we'll just have to pin it. But I'm gonna pin it this way. I don't really care that this, you know, you usually would pin it with the seams on the inside. I don't care. This is for a quick fitting. Oh, that is not a that is not a straight ass line. That is uh, disappointing. Not not the greatest or worst of biggest disappointments, but still a disappointment. So we are going to pin it. I'm pinning it just. I don't really care where I'm pinning it. Me. That's about that's, that's, that's roughly a centimeter in, ish. If I had to. Ballpark. You know what? Let's flip it this way. It'll be easier for me to put them in. Yeah, it's about it's about a centimeter, I would guess. That's a clean. That, that, yeah, that edge is just not straight at all. Not sure how that isn't straight, but oh, maybe that's the edge I used. 
on the edge of the fabric that I thought was straight. Maybe it was significantly less straight than I gave it credit for. Entirely possible. But uh, if I can figure out how to dial this in a little bit better. So basically, on the prototype, I get this stuff together. We're going to throw you the other way. If if the back is good at the three... Okay, that's not bad. Okay, let's take... Ooh, ooh, ooh. More clothes are coming and no one needs to see my gut. Again, gut, stay out of it. There we go. It's still trying to peek out. Ugh. I did just eat, so I might... Uh. Alright, so... Now let's put this on. Actually, that's... Oh, that is massive. I can, I can get freaking two arms in there at that moment. Oh, uh, that length... Uh, ow. Oh, I'm still managing to stab myself. Dang it. Okay, that's not, that's not bad. That goes down pretty good, but that is a lot of excess material here. But that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. I'm not unhappy with that not unhappy with it so these will work for now but I'm gonna have to overlap these quite a bit more than that I could definitely overlap these quite a bit but that was a decent the length is good uh, I might need to when I add it to the thing to actually um, add a little bit longer length to it because I need to hem it and I did forget I needed to hem um, and I need to do a seam, so we're going to add a note for the sleeves. Uh, so we got what we got, we got. So sleeves. Um, we're going to add plus 4 cm. 2, 4 hem, 2, 4 seam. Because I think the length, the length is pretty good. The length seems pretty good, but if I'm going to do it, if I'm going to do a hem, that's going to take up some material, and the seam's going to take up some material, but right now it seems like it's like the perfect length, or just a really close. Uh, to what I want it to be. So there we go. Those are there. That's there. So let's let's grab the stuff. I'm actually going to do this live because I don't, it's not actually live, I'm just recording, I'm not streaming. Boot. We are going to set this up as we roll because I frankly don't care. And it might be entertaining, me just looking confused for however long that takes. But the lights here, I'm thinking facing this way probably will work. Sitting here where I got some room. So yep, let's, get, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Aish. So we are going to be using a handy dandy TV tray. And we're going to be using a TV tray. I'm going to adjust the camera here. So you can look at my beautiful, beautiful mess and maybe my profile mug. There we go. So I use a TV tray because I have used, um, like I said, I've used the sewing machine before, um, but I, when I was doing it just to make that little fat suit, just basically sew, sew, and then you're done. Um, I was just using my hand as opposed to the pedal, I was using my hand to run the pedal, which probably would explain why um, things were not necessarily as straight as would have been nice. So. Oh, let's get the pins up here because I'm probably going to be pinning stuff as well as I do this. Um, we're going to do the back first. We're going to just do that straight shot in the back. Um, so let's, yep. Let's, let's go. Ugh. Got my cute little sewing machine here. Dude, I went to I went to freaking Sapporo when I was hunting for a sewing machine 
And I went to a legit shop. And, like, the cheapest sewing machine in that shop was probably five, six hundred bucks. Yeah, I, I, I ain't got five, six hundred bucks for a sewing machine. Ugh. But the internet is kind. And so this little guy, I think only ran me... Come on, you know you want to come out. I think only ran me 60 bucks. Something around there. Ah, here we go. Oh, and the power cord. I don't forget that. Box can just go over there for now. Oops, oops, I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? That's the pedal. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a cute little guy. It's a cute little guy. Look at that. It's a Mora gem, or it's a Moore gem. Not sure how they want me to pronounce that. Whoops, I am freaking... Oh, yep, yep. All right, so we don't have, we don't have a reverse. Where is my reverse? We got low, high, so that's your speeds. You got, you got a bunch of different stitching. I don't, is that the reverse? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no, that is the release for the thread that goes down below. Oh, okay. I forgot the spool. I was thinking the spool was out here, so I was actually going to go into my thing. As I got like a little tackle box filled with a bunch of uh, threads and stuff, but that's still, that's still set up, so I don't have to worry about that. And then I got all of these other stitches here, which quite quite frankly, yeah, I don't know what any of them do. I mean, you got a five thing, which is just you know basically looks like a uh, a freaking signal. You know your ones and your your ones and your zeros. Um, you got you, ooh, that's that's a heavy duty looking stitch. Number nine is also a heavy duty looking stitch. I was doing a seven before, so I was doing that guy. I'm not sure that's the one I wanted, but. Um, we are going to do, I think we're going to do a number one, uh, just because, why not? So let's get this thing situated, uh, foot pedal is in, and it is on the floor. Oh, thankfully that power plug is open, so I can actually use it. Where did I put the other one? Okay, put the other one on Kotatsu, I'll put that on Kotatsu too. So yeah, how messy is my room looking in this? Eh, eh, eh. I mean, it's basically the, tr the 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 table of mess that is a mess. Everything else in there, not terrible. I mean, definitely could be cleaner. But your trivia question: Do you think I live alone? Pretty obvious. Yes, I do. Because if I didn't live alone, this shit would be spotless all the freaking time. Because I wouldn't want... I <laughs> wouldn't want a significant other or something like that to see the mess. Oh, that'd be nice if that was adjustable, which it is totally... Oh, can this be battery operated? Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, it totally can. That is awesome. But yeah, there we go. Um, we'll probably just... Oop. Oh, it's got an auto function. Wait, if I do... Oh, okay. Coo, 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 coo. This is not fed through. Um. Ooh, do I even remember how to feed this through? That's two, so four comes down here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, two goes up there into here. Four comes down. Oh, I got a light? I got a light? I got a light! Awesome! Uh, now, oh, um, I got, where's my little, where's my little sewing kit? There it is. So I got, I got my, my threader. So the bottom one looks, is the bottom one even okay? Oh, uh, how do I even freaking operate this dang thing? Honestly, don't remember. Oh, there it is. I think, I'm pretty sure the bottom one's fine. I think. Oops. Come on, you know you wanna. You know you wanna go in there. You know you wanna not fight me. You're fighting me. I don't like it. Can I bend that a little bit? Nope, it doesn't want to bend. 
Ha ha! I'm surprised that that stopped being threaded. I don't know why that would have stopped being threaded. Okay, it is through and... Oh my gosh! I completely... I missed something. Oh, I think I wasn't... I, I wasn't actually through the hole. That's what it was. There we go. There we are. I think I actually want it not trail. I want it trailing off to this side. Come on, come with me, come with me, and you'll see a world of pure imagination. There we are. Okay, and now that that's there, we're gonna get my little thread cutter shears. Boom, boom, boom. So that is not bad. However, the one downside of this being up here is that I have very little space. No, nope, no. Nope. Is it the back? That is not the back. Here's the back. Here's what I wanted to do first. Okay. I can just put it in my lap. Okay. Is the light on? The light is not on now. The stupid idiot light is on. So let us see, oh, yeah, I think I can, where's the, okay. Okay, that is up, wait, wait, you are down there, okay, ah, there we go, that's what I want. So I want to set you up, and then I want to put you down, so perfect. <laughs> Okay, how do I go backwards? Is this how I go backwards? Yes, is the answer. Okay, okay, I do have enough room. Ah, ah, right there! I'm stabbing myself already. dirty does that feel does that feel like it's gonna well I mean I could rip it but I mean of course it's just fabric and freaking uh, thread so of course I could rip it if I really freaking wanted to which I don't but this is actually this is actually sewing fairly decently I'm actually I'm fairly happy with that <laughs> So now, now I'm, I'm already, I'm already seeing an issue with, um, with uh, uh, this setup is. So you have kind of a guideline here, but my line is two millimeters to the side. So I'm actually trying to still trying to line it up a bit, but it's dark. It's black on dark brown. Dark brown. This is brown? Am I colorblind? Holy crap. It is uh, black. It was a black pen on dark blue fabric, so it's not the easiest thing to see in the world. So hopefully, uh, when you know, these, these can probably come off when I'm dealing with this. Oh, you're done already? We will be with you shortly. Um, yes, so we'll just get this started. Let's get this... Uh, Go and see, see what, see what happens. Drifting a little bit. Actually, that's actually turning out fairly straight. I'm actually pretty proud of that. That's turning out pretty freaking straight. This actually might be this actually might be better because um, 
when I did when I did the Santa Fat suit, like I did it on the floor. Not only did I do it on the floor, but the pedal was in my hand, which meant I only had one hand to kind of steer the fabric. But now I got two hands. It's actually coming along pretty pretty good. No, I see that pin coming straight from my freaking hand. But yeah, no, that's actually coming along. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm liking how this is looking so far. I'm just, ah, oh, I should have cleaned off that table, but it's too late now. It is what it is. What I also can do is I can actually just turn this on to low, low speed and kind of just call it that way. Okay, we are coming up to the end. Oh, come on, you want to come out? Thank you. Coming up to the end. So I want to be extra careful. So I want to make sure I go backwards as well. We are golden, so that comes up, and then I can pull that out a little bit. Where is where did I put where did I put the shears? There we go. Go figure. I'm right-handed. They're on the right freaking side. Oh wow. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that is. Ooh, that seam looks pretty decent. That seam looks pretty freaking decent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not disappointed with that at all. Turn the light off. That seam looks pretty freaking good. All right, so we are going to put you down on the ground. Uh, we are going to grab whatever. Which side? Which side are you? Which side are you? You are the left side. So that's the zip side. So this is the back. What we got? Yes. So I sewed this is actually on the outside. So, this is what we are pinning. We are pinning these together right here. Oh crap, maybe I should have done everything on the table. It's just so much better. <laughs> uh, prototyping, this is why we prototype. So I can figure all this crap out. Uh, before I actually make the actual costume. But every, everyone at work, when I was mentioning that I was going to pro be prototyping, they're all like... They're all laughing. They thought that was hysterical. So I'm like, of course I got a freaking prototype. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know? Can, can I sew? Yes. Am I good at it? Not especially. I mean, the sewing machine, having it on the table... Vast improvement over the last time I did it, for sure. 100%. 100% improvement over the last time. So we are just lining these up, and then I'm going to pin it. I don't really care where I pin it, um, but I'm not going to pin it on the line because that's the line I need to hold. Wait, 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 wait. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 um, The guy in the guide did not do uh, the sides until he had the sleeves done also. So we're going to do the up tops, right? Give me a second. Hold on. This is, this is the inside. Yes. Hold on, hold on. This is the inside. Yes. So that means we're sewing here and here. And then we're going to flip it. So, if the, you know what? Where's, where's my pen? It's on the floor. It is on the floor. Ugh, there we go. Okay, so. Because this is, this is the inside. Actually, hold hold the freaking phone. Give me a second. 
Yeah, because no, it'll be on the back, and then it'll be yes. So, so this this is the left side, and this is the right side. I think. I think. I don't know. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do the top first. Uh, so this is left side top because that's gonna come that's gonna that's gonna so if this is sewn that way and that's gonna get flipped over this way and that's how I want it yes 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 haha -ha. so eventually we'll figure this out painfully slowly slowly and painfully we will figure this out and not and hopefully not make a massive cluster of it My only, my only goal in this project, basically, is not to make an absolute freaking cluster out of what I'm doing. It's probably going to end up being an absolute cluster, but I'm trying to prevent that to the best of my abilities. Okay, you're actually looking pretty, pretty good. So we're going to pin you here. So you're far enough outside of the seam. to make sure I pin the Scheisenbach of this. Okay. We'll make sure you are lined up and then we'll pin you as well outside of where that is going to be. Come on. Nope. Yep, there we go. So that looks how we doing, how we doing. We're doing okay on that one. All right, uh, let me get these guys over there. Actually, that kind of works with. Uh, we'll move you over here so I got a little bit more table to kind of pile this on. Make it, hopefully make it a little bit easier to, uh, okay, we got, we, got, we got enough there, so I'm happy with that. Turn the light on. Oh, there's just not a lot of room here. Not a lot of room here for for mistakes. No, oh, oh, I'm up. Okay, hold on. Line you up and then drop you. to kind of hide other stuff. And you fell. You're fine. There we go. All right, so now... I'm not going to worry about the ends of this stuff because I personally just don't care. Uh, that actually went on the line pretty freaking well. I'm happy with that. So that is... Good, that is the left side. Um, now let's grab, let's turn the light off. Let's grab the right side really quick. Oh, that's probably why I put the shear somewhere else. It needs to be somewhere else. The right side is here. Whoosh. All right, so left side is there. This is the right side. And you probably go this way. So when you flip, when you flip over, yep. Right? Right. Actually, I don't think I need to, oh. Oh, so right now I've realized that if I only have one centimeter seams 
There's not a lot to work with on the inside of the machine. Like I can't hold on to anything. So one centimeter seams is probably, oh, is it just off? What's going on here? Come up here, come up here, come up here. Talk to me, talk to me, Goose. Talk to me, Goose. No, you did not, you did not line up very well. What's going on here? Oh, they just don't line up. One is much longer than the other one. Am I doing this right? Has to be. Yeah, your angles are like not lining up at all though. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. you there. Move you up. And we're going to just pin the crap out of this one. This one's not lining up very well, so we're going to do like a lot of extra pinning on it. Because it's just not lining up. Uh, the other side lined up way nicer. I mean, was it perfect? No. Nothing I'm going to make in this thing is going to actually be perfect. Passable is the goal. You know, if I can get a passing grade on it, I'll be happy. I'll do one more pin at the end. Okay, there we go. You are pinned sufficiently. All right, let's get you back up top. Let's get the idiot light on. Make sure the threads are back. I can pile, I can pile you up here just to relieve some of the, so gravity doesn't fight me. Yeah, a centimeter is not going to cut it. A centimeter is not going to cut it. centimeter of seam is not going to cut it. I don't see because I can't. And when I was holding it, now I'm actually impacting the, uh, the thread that's down on the bottom. So that's not good that I'm in the way of that. So quarter or quarter inch one centimeter seam is not long enough I need I need like I want to say yeah it could just be it just could be because I'm just really shit at this but yeah that's 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 how all right so now now when these flip over right side left side right and the seam the seams are on the inside okay how i wanted it boom so that actually looks decent all right oh, i don't even have to take it off it's not freaking together okay so now you can go down here and now we can take a look at the armholes because there is there actually that is that is an armhole. And that would come together like, don't fight me, like so. So that, that's your armhole right there. Not the biggest thing in the world, but uh, it actually decently, it decently spans the, the TV tray here. I actually, I'm super, super happy I actually bought this. I actually, I actually bought this, believe it or not, when I actually bake. Um, it just works super, oh no, they're on here. It works super freaking well for an extra thing when you're baking. Now, these overhang quite a bit.
but that I think is something I can actually work with. Um, yeah, that is something I can work with. How <sighs> do I want to do that though? Because if I just do, yeah, but they, they overhang so freaking much. Because it's up here and this goes down to here. Actually, let's 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 see if I can line that up a little bit better center-wise. Yeah, that's about that's about that's good. Yeah. So look look at that. This comes in here, but this goes on another freaking three centimeters or so. So I don't I don't like that at all. But I can probably sew it until he no, nah, because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna want to sew the whole dang thing. How do I want to do this? I think the, I think the ang the angles the angles pretty good the angles pretty good. That curve is pretty freaking good. It's just there's so much extra material out here. How do I want to do that? Because if I if I roll this up to say a centimeter or something like that, that's going to be. You know what? Let's we can eyeball that. We can eyeball this, and I think it'll be fine. It's not going to be great, but I think. Hold on. Let's let's make sure this is actually dead center. That's pretty centered. And that is. Now that is pretty much dead. Dead center. Okay. Now we're just gonna start pinning, pinning the crap out of this. All right, that's actually looking decent. So, so if I can actually, if I can actually tie on a sleeve, somewhat. That's actually a lot of progress, I think, tonight. Because I have a decent idea. You, you are not going to work, Pen. You got to go down. All right. So you go. Okay, you're still, you're still looking decent over here. But I got a decent idea of where. Actually, that's not actually now that I fold it. Now that I have it folded in, those actually that actually lines up decently. How the hell did that happen? No idea. Oh, it's getting bunched up, but that's that's freaking fun. I honestly don't care. That gets bunched up a little bit. There are much much worse things that can happen. So we will just. Come on, you know you want to go through the other side. There you go. So that is not bad. So let's 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 do the other side. Get these lined up as best I can. Make sure when you pin them, they actually pin down. So they definitely make sure they're not going to be in the way. Sure. When I say I'm pinning the crap out of it, it doesn't really seem like the amount of pins I'm putting in is a crap load. Uh, but oh, I just want it to be sufficient. Come on, you know you want. There you go. Sweet, sweet. Well, then my my this is eh, actually it's going to line up pretty freaking close again. So I'm not unhappy with that. There's there's some fabric bunching, but. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Alright, and then that comes up to here. Oh, do you this way? Nope. 
stab stab myself a little bit. One more one more in the milk here just because that seems a little weak. Alright. Uh, I'm not the keenest on it. And this is actually not far enough down, I think. There we go. Alright, so we are gonna give this a shot. Um, see how that seems to go. Yeah, because if I basically put it where just the edges are going to... Oh, shite. Okay, hold on. I have to sew it the other way. I'm going to have to sew it the other way. Yep, it's fine. Oh, shh. Yep. I'm going to have to sew it with this side up because this side is not necessarily lining up as great as I would have liked it to. Like I said, it's a prototype, so hold on. Make sure you, you guys are pulled straight, which you are. Yeah, I don't even really have. Oh, I'm, get oh, I'm getting stuck on the pin. I'm getting stuck on that pin. Dang it, already that's a problem. Can I get over it or no? No is the answer. So I actually have to remove that. Shove shove these way the way the frick down. Is that this pin is the problem right now? I'm kind of just going in place as opposed to moving. You, you come, you come, you coming, you coming. Oh my god, halfway through. So I wanted to pin far enough away, I completely and utterly failed in that regard. Alright, so let's come back down. Oh, uh, that's the problem with how I'm doing this. not gonna work not gonna work how I'm doing it oops hold on not gonna work how I'm doing it uh, I mean it's working but I have to I have to repin this stupid thing because it is not working how I have it at the moment I pinned it to sew from the other freaking side. Oh, that's on the floor. That's not good. So I didn't do a very good job pinning it then. Because all the pins decided to... Where is the pin that fell? Okay, I see it. I'm going to grab that before I randomly get stabbed in the foot with it later. Oh my god, this is, this is, this is nerve-wracking. Getting the stupid freaking arms to work. I don't like it. This is the worst part so far. Well, other than the entirety of the thing, this is the worst part. that way as well. What were, I almost stabbed myself in the face doing that. That was a dumb idea. You know, pull them. Pull all of them because I don't want to freaking pull one to then use it to put on the other side because that just was not working. You 
the eyeballing it was fine, I think. For the most part. Because uh, again, prototype. Don't have, uh, don't care a whole heck of a lot. I mean, I want the thing to look good, but the whole reason I'm making a prototype is so the end result can be good by all the mistakes I learned from said prototype. So that's why if the prototype is a little meh, it's really not going to hurt anything. This one will put way far down. But I can also see it. So that's, that's, that's the thing. I can see it. All right. Ugh, let's try this again. Once more from the top. Okay, we'll get you guys going there. So I like you there. Do I want to just de-thread that? I kind of do. Let's de-thread that and actually paint. Let's start the whole. Let's do the whole thing again. far would be easier from this side maybe it's the same freaking thing so no it's literally the same freaking thing oh god good gosh there we go. A little, little bit of give on the fabric. Holy moly. This is really not wanting to come undone. And then I go from the freaking side and it cuts super easy. I pulled you out too. I pull. I can't pull these apart yet. Whoa! Holy moly! This this is. This stitching is actually pretty freaking strong. If I can't. Even after I've cut a chunk of it, I still can't pull it out. Or I can't. I still can't pull, the pieces apart. Ah, uh, it's. I think it's because it's a double. It's a double stitch. So I got the thread on the top and the bottom. So it's basically yeah. It's. That's going to be basically a super duper reinforced stitch. That's actually... I mean, I don't dislike it. Just this part of the process sucks. But, at least I didn't keep going. I was going to... I was, in all honesty, just going to freaking power through. But I'm like, hey, this is not working. So, there's, there's a little bit of stuff that I learned there. Powering through is not a good idea. can power through some things, but I don't think it's not very forgiving if you uh, try to power through a sewing process. I mean, it's not really... Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. I had cut enough on the back end to uh, get that to go. There we go. Alright, I'm liking that. Oh, that, didn't, that does not budge. And it's not budging either. All right, all right, good. This thread's gonna be freaking everywhere in the house. Oh, cool. what? Am I almost done? What's going on here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There. Oh, oh. Okay. Everything else is just pins. I'm okay with that. Oh God, gosh! Look at all that stitching. That is a lot of freaking thread. How how are we doing? The bottom one's doing fine. That's got quite a bit still. 
So I'm happy with that. Let's get all you out. And I'm actually going to throw you in the trash. As opposed to just throwing you on the floor. Which I've been doing everything else. Uh, mainly because. You think you get freaking stuck everywhere. And then I find you laying around all over the freaking place. Oh, okay. For the most part, we got, we got it, we got it all, we got it all. All right. I'm doing that just so I can ball it together easily and throw it away where, without it sticking on everything. There we go. All right, so let's repin that. Uh, and for, yeah, well, I don't, I just don't have, I'm just worried that I just don't have the material for making a really long seam, or a, a decent width seam here. So I just don't feel like I have the material for it. Which is kind of true. That hurts. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. Round round two with uh, the sleeve. Which I think will end up being a little bit more forgiving once... Um, where's the pedal? There's the pedal. The pedal is never where I think it is. Catching on stuff, that's probably why. Alright, let's get these pins out. It's together so I don't need these pins. Uh, and then we'll, we'll throw the other one on, and uh, then I'll have to go take care of the laundry. Letting it sit for a little bit is fine, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Oops, that's the thing I gotta be careful with. There we go. Make sure oh, I got the fabric where I want it. We doing okay? how far I gotta go. Oh, that's the last one. This is the last one right here, so we're actually almost done. Alright. We're getting close. there almost there uh, is the needle up it is so uh, can I pull it come on come on come on you know you want to you know you want to I know I know you're stuck gently there we go uh, did you get uh, it looks like you actually got stuck on itself it's fine all right 
Maybe light off. How did we do? How did we do? I have no idea what's even going on with this shirt at the moment. Okay. Well, I don't know. I honestly don't... Ah, that's from the other scene there. Okay, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, we got we got our star pattern going on here. So, let us work on... I will cut this just so it doesn't stick out like the other one does. Oh, that actually goes in my bag of trash. Oops, I actually have to turn around a little. There we go. Okay. So let's pin this guy. Well, let's make sure we are where we want it to be. Which is, here we go, uh, hang you over. Um, that is the neck, so this is the armhole. The armhole! Mwahaha! <laughs> All right, now that is going to fight me a little bit because it's definitely heavy on one side, heavier on one side. All right, and then this guy is here. Hold on. Here. So we can start here. Okay. Okay. Let's pin this really freaking well. Um, doesn't matter what side I pin it from, to be honest. I just want to make sure it pins well. That's the only thing I care about at the moment. Pin, pin it well and pin it out of the freaking way. Unlike you did last, in the first round, you pinned it in the way very much. I didn't. It was a pain. I want to make sure you lined up as good as possible. Man, the guy in the video made this look so freaking easy, but again, he's got experience. Making outfits and stuff. I do not. But, yeah, he made it look... Grand his is also a, uh, a sped-up version. So you didn't see all the all the crap that I'm doing. He he blew through pretty quick on the sped up version, which I don't blame him for. But when I do projects and stuff, I tend to ramble. So that might be entertaining for some. Might be annoying for others, but uh, to each to each their own, I would say. good oh I haven't done I haven't done that side yet how is this not finishing at the same point as the other guy it probably freaking should uh, might, there might be something I can do to actually make that happen oops there we go And the last, the last one, line you up and put a, put a pin in it. All right. Stabbing myself again. No matter what I do, this thing is just dead set on, uh, all these pins are dead set on wounding me. Come on, go through. Thank you. Let's no 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 line up line up you know you want to yeah, there you are yep so I guess I just don't believe in speeding up stuff or cutting stuff just 
everything I got is everything you get. Oh, ah, man, well, it's fine. It's fine. It is a prototype. This is to find the bugs and correct them when we make the final product. If you're, if you're over a little bit, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not too, too unhappy with that. Okay. So that is oh, pinned. We shall get this soon. Uh, again, I'm just going to eyeball it. Ooh, nope, you want to, you want to go out there. Thank you very much. Idiot light. Put you down. Get me some. pins in here. I wasn't messing around this time. Yes, I know I'm pushing the pins out by the sharp bit, but whatever. Okay, I was like, why does this look weird? Because it's coming up on the seam on the inside, on the other side. Yeah, okay, I can't always. Nope, we could probably do it with the, there we go, we'll do the nail. I will go through. Come on, power through, power through. It powered through a bit. We gotta get you back on track. Oh, you were actually you weren't actually at the place I thought you were at. My bad. What was the problem then? Hmm. Hopefully nothing. Because right here is where that other scene is. We power through that with a champ, though. I'm happy with that. Alright, let's get these pins out before like, they, they start attacking me, before they start bullying me. Uh, where do you end? Okay, you end. Okay, you end up here. Okay. Okay. I got. I got. I got. I got the pieces in my hands. So we're okay. Like I didn't lose. No, we st we we were st we're still doing good. We're still doing good. I'll take that out later. I just want to make sure I'm actually pinching all the fabric. while I didn't think I was doing as good of a job as I could have. to me and my flesh all right now let's see let's see how this is doing I should have some kind of like um, star pattern coming up here kind of kind of a wackadoodle star thing like a flayed angel I guess you could say so you got you got the one you got the two you got the back you got three you got the four one, the two, the three, the four, there should be five. So one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we got five. So that's actually not looking too, too bad. Those look, those look decent. Uh, so next order of business. What the hell is the next order of business? I think, I think I sew 
I think I sew this. I think I don't think I do the sleeves yet. I think I actually do. I think I do the shirt. Holy crap! Is that not? Oh, what the hell? No, you are not lined up at all. One is way longer than that. What the heck? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So you, not you, you, and hold on, where's the back? Ah! Is this the arm? That is the arm. Ah, okay, so you, you actually come up here, and you meet up here. So these should actually line up. Oh, they do. That makes me happy. So actually, we are going to pin, we're going to pin one side. Um, and then we'll go take care of laundry. Again, I'm going to pin the other ever-living crap out of it. Just gotta make sure the pins are out of the way of the sewing machine. Oh, those, line up. Those, line, those are lined up really nice. Maybe I actually did. Maybe I actually did that well. We shall see. Come with me, and you'll see a world of pure imagination. Yeah, I watched a YouTube video today, or part a part a part of one on how uh, this one YouTuber, don't know the name of the person, this guy was saying that uh, Pure Imagination, the song written for Willy Wonka and the Charlie Factory, starring the late and great, brilliant Gene Wilder, was the best song ever written for a movie, and now it is stuck in my head, and it is not a bad song to get stuck in your head, because it's actually a good song. It's a great freaking movie. If anyone's watching this in the future and you haven't seen Gene Wilder's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, watch it. Love it. Because Gene Wilder is genius. Gene Wilder is awesome. Okay. 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 That's not bad. That's not bad. We'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll pin it there. So that is pinned. God, stab my dang self. Yikes. All right, so that is pinned in a, in a clump on the table. Uh, I'm going to go do a be right back thing because I'm going to be right back. Um, taking care of the laundries. Uh, probably be back in, say, five minutes. And it's almost freaking ten. Oh, I might be able to get stuff done, but I really need to go to bed. almost 10 so actually instead of me coming back um i'm actually just gonna call it here because i have not been sleeping well i went to bed at like one o'clock in the morning and then i had to get up and you know go to work so that was not good dragon probably dragon right now but um so that means we will finish the prototype tomorrow which is fine yeah finishing the prototype tomorrow should be fine um, and the prototype is done, um, and if everything looks good, maybe Friday I can get the final version kind of dialed in with lessons learned from the prototype, but we'll get the prototype, we'll get all the things sewn tomorrow. Um, we got one, two, three, we got four, four more seams to do. I'm not going to worry about hemming. Hemming can just freaking happen at the end. Um, I'm not worried about hemming. Because once I get all these things sewn, get it on, see how it looks, then I can actually start... Oh no, because I do actually have to... Um, the hem on the right side and the hem on the left side, I do have to put those in still. Uh, those are marked. Um, not pinned, but they are marked. So that is six, six things I gotta sew tomorrow. Um... Oh, my jaw. Yeah. So, yeah, six things we'll, uh, we'll sew tomorrow. 
um, and then see how that goes. Hopefully, I can have a full fledged. Oh, I still got to do the collar. There's always more things I got to do. I'm not gonna worry about the zipper. I only got one zipper. Um, what I can do is throw some Velcro on. So, uh, you know what? Post-it note. Where's my pen? All right. So Thursday today is this 25th. So we got 10, 26, which is a Thursday. So we got the we got the two X side seams. We got the two X arm seams. Oops, there's no there's no R in seam. Um, we have the right hem, and that's the long side. We got the left hem which is also again the long side. Uh, we need to make a collar. Make a collar, which I haven't figured out yet. Uh, I gotta make, I gotta make the eye, the eye cover. Granted, well I'm posting this after it's, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna post any of this till it's freaking done anyway, so. But I will probably post it in a series. Um, but yeah, make the eye cover, which probably won't happen till this weekend, because um, that's extra stuff that's very different from everything else. Um, make the collar, make the eye thing, um, and then um, we're gonna add some Velcro uh, for fitting. I can do that without the I can do that without the collar and without the eye cover. That'll be fine, actually. So if we do this one, two, three, four, we're gonna do five for that. Add Velcro for the fitting. Crap, there's one other thing I was gonna do. Yeah, and then uh, then uh, six is gonna be, that's not how you spell gauge. Gauge is not G U A, it is G A U. So gauge and make adjustments. There we go. And that is, and then we'll do, so collar would be seven, and the eye thing will be eight. I can come out of there. Yeah, but the collar, I don't want to have the, I don't want to do the collar unless I know. Unless I have the right side, left side figured out, uh, maybe I have to make the, the the neck the neck hole bigger. I don't know yet, um, but yeah, I'm not gonna have any kind of measurements on that. Um, I don't know how I want to do that either. I don't know if I want to just have a piece of cloth. I'm gonna have to fold it over. So yes, it's gonna have to be folded over and then sewn on that way. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to measure that. It's probably gonna be three, four. That's gonna be three centimeters. Uh, but yeah, so we'll have to gauge. Oh no, that's 85 centimeters. Um, we'll have to gauge that. So that is the order of operations for Thursday tomorrow. We'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well, because I don't think I actually got as much done as I wanted to. Granted, I got home later than I wanted to. I left work later than I wanted to. So if I can get home, but the sewing the sewing's actually gone pretty freaking well. So that should actually be fairly quick after I pin them up. I already got one side pinned. I'm not gonna worry about the other side because I need a little bit more freedom um, as I'm sewing to, you know, before. Uh, I stabbed myself 85 times because I'm trying to sew one side and the other side's pinned. So we're going to do that. Yeah, so that's how we're going to go. We're going to call it here. Almost 10, so we're going to call it here. Peace. Until next time. Have a good one.